Today we're covering email marketing and how to do that correctly so you can actually convert some real estate leads into some real estate sales. In this particular video, we're gonna be using KV Core to do our email marketing, but even if you don't have KV Core, you're gonna to wanna to stick around because the principles of email marketing remain the same. Hey, it's Jaime, if you're just meeting, welcome to the channel that brings actionable content to grow your business through online marketing. So if that sounds beneficial, consider subscribing. Email marketing, drip campaigns, drip marketing, smart campaigns, whatever you wanna call it, it's the same. It is using emails to follow up with past clients or future clients. Given that email marketing serves the purpose of staying in front of your prospects, you wanna stay in front of those prospects to where they eventually use your services or buy your products. And the same thing applies to past clients. You want to stay in front of them so they can use you again if you're in the service business or so they can buy from you if you're in the product business. So with that being said, the main question still applies. How are you going to deploy your email marketing strategy? Are you gonna do that in a manual way to where you're sending the emails out one by one or are you gonna do an automated way where you have a system that takes care of that for you? Well, if you're like most savvy business owners, you want to automate the process. You do not wanna spend time manually sending emails if you can avoid it, you want to automate as much as possible. So it's with this mindset that we go over to KB Core, which is one of the most powerful real estate CRMs out there. Now on the way to the screen share, let's make one quick pit stop and that's at the like button right down there. So if you wouldn't mind just going down there just once and smashing like, that's gonna be huge. All right, so let's get started. Let's do some email marketing here on KB Core. The first place you're gonna go is to Marketing Autopilot. So as you can see here, you have your little tabs. So you go to Smart Campaigns and click Start a Campaign. Now, I know that it's called Smart Campaigns here and it's something that happens across all real estate CRMs out there. They call email marketing something different. Some people call it drip campaigns. Some people or some CRMs call them flows. Some CRMs call them X, Y, and Z. It just so happens that it's called Smart Campaigns here on KB Core. So don't let that be a, a distraction. The rest of the um, the building of the campaigns is relatively the same. And I'll show you what that looks like here shortly. Now, also dependent on which brokerage you join. So I'm with EXP and KB Core is included for free. So if you're interested on more information on joining my team where I do your lead generation for free, then fill out the form below and I'll gladly um, get into contact with you. But depending on the brokerage that you join, you're going to have different campaigns already set up so you see the system campaigns right here there's about 23 you can click on those you can add them to the library clone them and then um, implement them into your business now some of these are fantastic the ones that are already provided but i like including or creating my own campaigns and i actually have them linked down below so if you're interested in my drip campaigns that i use for the buyer leads and the seller leads so they actually convert then be sure to check them down below. I'll make sure that I link them so you can have the exact same uh, drip campaigns and follow-up campaigns that I do. All right, so we're gonna, go to temp uh, we're gonna go to templates first. Before we actually create our campaign, we have to create our templates. And we're gonna go over here to the right-hand side. We're gonna create a template. We're gonna go to email template. So here, I'm gonna just put YouTube email one. I like to label them this way. I like to say um, what um, when they should be going out because I already have a sense of when I want them to go out. So email one, um, I'm gonna copy that real quick. And then in the subject, I would just call it, let's just say, here is your next home or whatever you're going to, um, whatever you're fulfilling. And then here what we're gonna do is we're going to pull in Oops, over here. We're gonna pull in their first name. So you see it right there. Um, check out this amazing home. And then cheers. Our signature is gonna be included. I'm gonna move myself and scroll down just a little bit. So I'm gonna add the, temp the template. So basically that's, think of it as a draft. That's an email that you just created. That's gonna be a draft that you're not doing anything with it right now. You're just creating the emails. All right, so I'm gonna go with email two. And then now what I'm gonna do, you saw there I just didn't do anything with this advanced editor. Now I'm gonna go over to the advanced editor and I'm gonna switch it up. 
it's going to look a little bit different. So this looks a little bit um, different as opposed to the traditional way of creating your email. Don't be deterred by that. Check this other home out. All right, so then I'm just gonna do a text block right there. I'm gonna do a video right there. And then I'm going to do, what else do I wanna do? I can do an image right there. So here, here is words. I know that's not correct. And then add a URL right here. Now an important, let me find a, one of my videos. An important item to consider whenever you're putting your URL, you wanna use the full URL that comes with one of your videos. So let me just pull up one of the recent videos right here. You're gonna go with the long string URL as opposed to the shared URL. So just make sure this is the long stream. As you can see there, it's clickable. So that is fantastic and it's very well presented. That's um, actually my entire thumbnail when it comes to YouTube. So you could actually integrate BombBomb into KV Core as well but you don't have to. If you have a video that you want to share with everybody and, um, and are okay with sending people to YouTube after they um, for them to watch it, then go ahead and do the URL. That's how I do all of my videos. And then when it comes to an image, you would just go, um, you would upload one. So you can upload a video right here. I'm sorry, an image. I don't know which one this is. I'll just add it. All right, so I'll insert that and there you go. So that's just an example of the text, the video, and then the image. All right, so I'm gonna go to add a template and I'm gonna add another one. Let's just go to email. You can see how quickly this could go. So YouTube, the important thing is for you to stay organized. That's the most important part here. And then here I'll just stay with the other way. Um, oh, I'm sorry, let's go back to advanced editor switch third email and of course these are not real emails you're not going to be sending these if you're interested in my templates they're down below so make sure you check them out i'm going to show you how to insert the name of your lead so you're going to put the first name comma and then type anything out now something else to consider here whenever you're doing a url make sure that you highlight this and you put a URL right there and you hyperlink it right there. So that's how you do the URL. Even if it's an actual URL, even if you have that www.highmarysendus.com, even if you have that URL and you think it's gonna hyperlink, don't risk it. There are times where it actually does not um, create the link itself. So you have to actually create the, the hyperlink. So don't take any chances. Oops, I needed to put the URL. Anyway and then cheers boom it's that simple so the most important part is just so you understand kind of how to structure things if you wanted to do a text over here or an image there there's different settings that you can create and you can create a very fancy very good looking email without having to learn how to code so that is powerful all right for our purposes i'm just going to add that and continue going all right now let's talk about text i know that we are not really going to cover too, mu too much text right now, but I think it's important that you understand how to do that. If you saw there, I went to add a template, I went to SMS template, and I'm gonna put YouTube T1. Text one, hello, this is Jaime. All right, so I'm gonna add that as a template. And the e I'm sorry, the number that's gonna be used with KV Core, so the number that KV Core is gonna use to text and what the client's gonna see is gonna be your smart number. So just keep that in mind. Uh, it's going to be text two. This is the text number two. All right, add the template. Okay, so now we've created enough templates right here. If I wanted to, let's just say I wanted to add a task. Um, this, please do this. No, I'm sorry. YouTube task one. And then you identify who you want to do that. Email this. Oh, no, I'm sorry, call this lead today and then make sure to call. So task is something that you're assigning to yourself. You're going to have these tasks up here that, um, where are they? The notifications, you'll see the task up there so you can stay organized and stay on top of the ball. 
All right, so here we go. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna create the campaign. We've gone over and created our templates. So we created our emails, our text, and our tags, attacks, tasks. <laughs> and now we're gonna create our campaign. Here's how we do it. Whenever you create a campaign, a very important thing to get right is when does it actually start? When does it, when does the first domino fall into place? So whenever a lead comes in, whether it's through Facebook, and I'll actually show you that on uh, how to do that here towards the end of the video, how to integrate it with Facebook for free. The most important thing is how does that actually align with my campaign? Because I certainly don't want this campaign to trigger every time I put in, in a new lead. So if I run into somebody and they become a lead and I'm putting it into my system, I don't want them to get this follow-up. If I get an email from somebody that saw me on YouTube and want, wants to work with me and I wanna add them to my database because they emailed me, then I'm mean, certainly not gonna have this campaign launch. This type of campaign, the one that I'm setting up right now, even though it has no words, is um, we're gonna pretend that it came in the form of a Facebook lead. So I ran a lead generation campaign and I integrated it with KV Core. So now I'm having it trigger, I'm having it fire off. So that is what, um, that's the assumption that we're making. So this is where we make that connection of when does that first domino fall over? And that's what we're setting up right now. So start the campaign when we move it to a hashtag. And for our purposes today, we're gonna put YouTube uh, video. So YouTube video, that is our hashtag. So anytime a lead that comes in that is coded as YouTube video, this automation or this campaign that we're setting up right now will initiate. Let me move myself. We're gonna go to next. Designed for, we're gonna pretend that it's a buyer campaign. The campaign, video campaign, video campaign, or I'm sorry, let's just do YouTube video for consistency. All right, always run, yes, locked, no. Don't worry about the settings, that's all you need, so add a new campaign. All right, so YouTube video, there it is. Right now, you are almost ready to go. There's one more step before we can do that. You see right here, everything you just created, but there's zero touches. That's what we're going to turn on. So we're gonna go to YouTube video. We're gonna go ahead and move it to active. It's something that I like doing right off the bat because I am very familiar with how to set all this up. Now what you need to do is create some actions. This is where you start pulling in your email templates and this is where your organization really thrives because all you have to do is type in YouTube um, email one. You're gonna go down here, YouTube email one. You, you can view this template if you wanna see what you wrote. You don't have to from your, you as the agent to your contact and you can have this run immediately. So let's just say you ran a campaign over on Facebook and you promised the additional information on a home that you just listed. All you have to do is um, make sure that that's what's in that first email and you're gonna send it immediately as soon as a lead comes in. So I'll show you how what that looks like here shortly. So we're gonna add this. Now we have our first action. So what we're gonna do is add that other email. So we're gonna put YouTube email two. The name is just so you know what it looks like back here on the campaign level. And what we're gonna do here is, let's just say we want that to be delayed a couple of hours. So we're gonna say, after that first email, we're gonna send them another email just to remind them that we're still around, but that's gonna go in about three hours. So you're gonna save it there, and you can see this starting to take shape. Let's add another email. So YouTube email three, we're gonna go to YouTube email three, and let's just say we wanna give them a little bit of breathing room, so we're gonna delay a day. So from the, from the time that it comes in, we're gonna give it a day, and then they're gonna have that other email. Now let's go to that text right here. It was YouTube T1, so YouTube, oops, T1, and we want that to run immediately. So as soon as the lead comes in, we want that email to fire off, and we want that text to fire off as well, saying, hey, go check your email, or hey, thank you for your um, information, I'm gonna reach out to you shortly. So acknowledging that you received, it's almost like a confirmation text. You're used to seeing it with all these Fortune 500 brands, you can do the same thing. You can provide 
a service to that level without having to pay much money at all. So we're gonna add it, and now we're gonna go one more time to the text. So we're gonna go to YouTube text two. Uh, ba -ba -bum, text two, and let's just say we're going to wait a couple of minutes. Well, we're gonna give them four minutes and then add, hey, did you get my text? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a task real, real quick. So the task is gonna be YouTube task. I'm gonna put YouTube. All right, and this, again, this isn't gonna necessarily do anything. This is more for internal purposes. So you can have this be run immediately, but I don't actually suggest that. Given that, you're going to see these texts go out, these emails go out, and you should already know to call them. But just to make sure that you don't sleep on any leads, let's just give yourself two days for the automations to take over. It really depends on how your drip campaign is structured. If you have a bunch of text, a bunch of emails, depending on how you want to do your follow-up, which again, if you're interested in the drip campaigns, they're linked down below. It gives you the tasks, it gives you the emails, it gives you the text, so you can actually convert all of these leads that come in. So let's just say after two days, you want to give them a call. So if you are having a hard time um, remembering what that task is even about, there you go make sure to call. So in two days, you're gonna give them a call if nothing has happened. If they didn't respond to your text, if they didn't respond to your email, if they didn't uh, pick up the first time and you called them back the second time in that same day, if they didn't pick up, in about two days, you can give them a call back or however you structure it. Now, at this point, you have a fully functioning drip campaign. So let's scroll down real quick. So now we have to go back Make sure that you see it as soon as it comes up, YouTube video right there, and then you see the amount of touches, you see that it's on. At this point, any, any lead that you label with YouTube video right now is gonna automatically send out these um, this follow-up campaign or initiate this, this campaign. That is that first domino. That is the first thing that you need to associate that tag to your lead. So if you have your leads over here in the smart CRM and you wanna make sure that everybody actually receives this follow-up for whatever reason, I don't recommend that because this is contingent upon somebody having an, an immediate action happen. But um, if you, for whatever reason, wanted to, um, uh, you saw a lead come in and you wanted to manually uh, put them on a drip campaign, then all you have to do is go to that person's name and then, um, and then add the hashtag. Now, what I wanna show you is how to integrate with Facebook. So if you're running lead generation campaigns, you can have all of this automate very, very simply. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. We're gonna go over here to Marketplace. And what we're gonna do is gonna go to API Nation. We're gonna hit Learn More. We're gonna add it to KB Core. It's gonna ask us, where do you want to integrate? So we're gonna go to Lead Ads. So KB Core to Lead Ads. So we're gonna look into Facebook lead ads and pull out the leads as soon as they come in. So I'm gonna sign in real quick. All right, so there we go. So sync up, so it's gonna ask for your personal login, so you're gonna log in. So now that you're in, what we're gonna do is gonna scroll down and we're gonna set up the lead campaign. So you see the, the page that it's gonna go look for. Now we gotta select a lead, so we're gonna go with price drop, we'll just do that. Let's just say that was the lead form. So as a reminder, if you're running a lead generation campaign, then um, you know what the lead gen form is. If you're interested in learning how to launch a lead generation campaign, I'll link a video right here so you can take a look. But this is basically going over to your Facebook ads. It's going to the page that you launched your ads from, and then it's gonna go over to the lead form that you're collecting all of the information, all of the leads. So it's gonna go and look for that. So we're gonna save it real quick just so we have it saved. And now we're gonna start mapping. This is the important part. So depending on what you ask for over on the lead form, that's what you need to make sure that you account for here. In the lead forms that I use, I only ask for the first name, I ask for the email, and I ask for the phone number. So I'm gonna make sure that I have the phone number to the phone. This is Facebook, this is KB Core. Now the one thing you're gonna notice is that there's nothing about a hashtag here. There's nothing about a hashtag because remember, we attached a hashtag 
over to our campaign. That's the way that we set up that first domino to fall over. Remember, we did, um, what was it, YouTube video? Yeah, I think it was YouTube video was our hashtag. So what we need to do is say, uh, we want Facebook to import in a hashtag that KV Core can read. So what we're gonna do is go to add a custom field, and then here we're gonna type in hashtag, the actual word, and then right here what we're gonna do is type in YouTube video. Now this is, and you're gonna make sure that you have the actual hashtag, this, is, this value, this field, needs to have the actual hashtag that you used to start and initiate the campaign that we just created. So we're gonna add the field, and you see it right down here, so we're gonna click on that. You can't really see it, but it's highlighted in green, and now it's telling us where do you want to map it. So you're gonna map it to note. So there you have the hashtag to note, and what you're gonna do is just press save, and then you're gonna hit start, and it is activated. So then, all that's left is for you to start getting those leads. So as soon as leads start coming in on Facebook, make sure that you're vigilant on checking if it's working on KV Core. We have all of the elements already taken care of. We created the templates, we created the campaign, which again is called Smart Campaign here on KV Core. We made sure that it had a starting point, which was a hashtag, and we made sure to make it active, and now we've connected it to Facebook. That is all you need. This is how you do email marketing in an automated way, and if you're interested in the actual templates, the actual emails, the actual texts that go out, that actually convert, be sure to check out the description the um the drips that i have for you if there's any questions don't hesitate to reach out well now you know how to do email marketing and set up your smart campaigns it's time to learn how to actually generate some more leads so i'll leave a video right here that's going to help you do that also if you found value today please be sure to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss another video and of course make it your best day yet